the lighting is shit i look shit i am shit and this video is probably gonna be shit so for today's video i'm doing something a little bit weird so there's a readathon at the moment called the because called the because we can readathon and i'm participating and there are these like creative challenges as well as reading prompts and I've just kind of done a few and I'm putting it in one video. I've got the okay, that's all right. And so yeah, I'm doing three of them today. So this readathon is based on musicals this year. I'm not really into musicals. I don't know a lot about musicals. So there were only a few that I could kind of do because some of them are like based on the musical. And then there were others where I was just like, that requires too much creativity and time and effort none of which I have. So the first one I'm going to do is for Wednesday, which was the Moulin Rouge one. For this challenge, we want you to turn a book into a musical. Create a full musical version of a book using existing songs or write your own or just pick sections from the book that would work with music. Oh shit. Okay, so I didn't understand that prompt correctly. <laughs> I must have mixed up with the Mamma Mia one, which was casting book characters as the characters. I thought that's what this was. So I've already like put time and effort into casting a musical with characters from books. So I'm still gonna go through that because, you know, I don't want my time to be wasted, even though I'm now wasting all of your time. It's kind of what you get into when you click my videos. I'm just gonna tell you what my cast was and then maybe I'll try and come up with something to humiliate myself because that's what I do here anyway. I picked the Shrek musical because I was like, I'm gonna cast them as Shrek characters. Look, okay, not all of us know Mamma Mia, okay? I don't know Mamma Mia, I've never seen it. But I've seen Shrek, and there's a musical of Shrek. So I guess I'm just combining those two prompts, and I'm going to cast book characters as, as Shrek characters for the Shrek musical. So for Shrek, I cast Light Song from... What's that book called? Warbreaker. Because Light Song, I don't know, I feel like he has the same energy as Shrek, where he is just over people. He's over humanity, he's over existence, and he's kind of just a bit of a slob, and he's a sarcastic prick because he's so over everything. And he just has Shrek energy. And I think that he would have fun dressing up as Shrek to be in a Shrek musical. You know, I can just envision it. It would be beautiful. It would be life-changing. It would give me purpose in life, which I have been desperately looking for because capitalism is slowly killing me. Then we're going on to Donkey, and I have cast Donkey with Ayame from fruits basket <laughs> they both are comic relief characters that don't shut the fuck up like what more do you want obviously ayame is a massive perv which donkey really isn't although donkey got on with a dragon then for fiona i'm casting tarasai from ray bearer obviously like aging her up because she's like kind of a teen in those books but she reminds me of Fiona and I feel like she'd play a really good Fiona because she also kind of grew up isolated, sees herself in a way as a weapon and she's strong and capable and it's similar to Fiona in which Fiona's lived very isolated. She learns to defend herself and is just strong but also like peaceful and harmonious and sweet. So those two remind me of each other so I think she would play a really good Fiona. Then for Dragon I'm gonna cast Hilo from the Greenbone Saga. Would I pay to see Hilo dressing up as a dragon singing Shrek songs? Yes, I would. I feel like dragon is a bit of a moody bitch. And when I think of unhinged moody bitches that would burn people to death for even the slightest inconvenience or annoyance, I think of Hilo. <laughs> So I think he'd I think he'd play a great dragon. He'd probably be annoyed to do it, but I feel like he would actually do it. So that's who I'm casting. And then we have Lord Farquaad. Really had trouble with this one because he's a, he's a unique character. And I was like, do I just pick like someone that's annoying in a book? I'm like, because that's not that funny. You know, that's like, oh yeah, like this annoying character would play a great Lord Farquaad because they're annoying. So I chose someone that we all hate. He's just terrible. And I feel like Lord Farquaad is terrible. Picturing this character like walking around on their knees on stage with a Lord Farquaad wig honestly gives me life. So I've cast Tamlin <laughs> as Lord Farquaad. <laughs> Tell me that he's not perfect. Tell me that does not give you life. That literally wasn't what they asked me to do for that prompt. <laughs> but I just wanted to go through it because I came up with it. So I need to turn a book into a musical because I should probably actually probably do this prompt. Um, Let's go. Go. Let's do Game of Thrones. Let's do the Song of Ice and Fire series. Okay. <laughs> Why 
time I'm like this. Ugh, the Red Wedding. The Red Wedding. Can you imagine people singing through that? Red, red, I see lots of red. But like they'd be stabbed mid singing. So someone else would have to like take over. So it'd be like, I see red. And then someone else would be like, red, red. What's another scene? Um, there's so many. There's so many great scenes to pick from. So many are spoilers. I can picture like Ned Stark having like a really big epic solo. Like he'd have his big moment. Where he's like walking through Winterfell. Maybe he's just found out about the incest. So he's like having a crisis and he's like, what do I do? And like I can picture him with like his flowing hair, like walking under the trees, going to pray. And like Catelyn will be in the background. So she'll be doing like the harmony. So he'll be like, I don't know what to do. Do I pick what is right or what will work? And Catelyn will be like, what will work? Does that fulfill the prompt? I feel like that fulfills the prompt. All right, let's move on. I feel like <laughs> I feel like the moment has passed for that one. So the next one I'm doing is the one I'm most excited about because it requires the least amount of effort, which is Friday's challenge, which is for six, the musical. I don't even know what that is. It's time to play Divorced, Beheaded, Survived, a musically updated version of Kiss, Marry, Kill. So I have a cup here. Let me get it. Tilly's sitting on my lap so I'm trying not to knock her off. I feel like I'm gonna scream or cry or laugh at some point during this so she's probably gonna end up moving. I'm so sorry for what is about to happen Tilly. So I've got a bunch of character names in here. I then decide who I'm going to, what is it? Or who I'm gonna divorce, behead, and who survives. So that's a weird one because it's like two negative things and I put mostly characters in here that I love to torture myself and I didn't even realize that only only one has a good outcome. Divorced is not bad because like I'm a piece of shit so honestly probably divorced is the best option. <laughs> this one's not as fun because there's not one where it's like I just want to have sex with this person. <laughs> anyway let's go. Okay okay the first character is Okay, I put Nana here from the manga Nana and I kind of was like, which one do I do? And I was mainly leaning towards one over the other, but then I'm like, they can just be a package deal. So it's both the Nanas from Nana. Shay from the Greenbone Saga and Magnolia from Magnolia Parks. So Magnolia is dying. I'm so annoyed that I can't marry or fuck either of these people. <laughs> Why is that not an option? I guess I'm gonna think of it as survived is you survived having to marry me and then divorced is you survive, I guess, but you also had to marry me at some point. So I think I would divorce Shay, which hurts me like, I don't wanna divorce Shay. Um, and the Nanas would survive. Go this one. Anthony from Bridgerton. Griffin from Any Duchess Will Do, who is also a historical romance man. And Kate Daniels. Okay, well, Kate Daniels is not dying. Which of these vanilla, mediocre white men am I gonna kill? <laughs> I think I'm gonna kill Anthony. I do like Anthony, but like, listen, Griffin? Griffin is... Is a little bit special. I'm gonna I'm gonna divorce Griffin and I'm gonna kill Anthony. I am so sorry, Anthony. Maybe I'm killing him because I want Kate to myself. Because look at her, who does not want Kate all to themselves. Okay. Let's go. Oh my god. Speaking of, I literally just drew Kate. That is kind of creepy. And then we got I wrapped these up way too much. Like why would I even cheat in this game? Like, what's the point of cheating in this? But I had to make sure I couldn't accidentally see whose names were on the paper. Next is Reza Hawkeye from Fulmina Akmus. Had the biggest crush on her when I was a teenager. I'm not gonna lie. And then Hattori from Fruits Basket. Oh no! Oh my god, the daggers Tilly just gave me. Oh no. I don't want to kill any of them. No! <laughs> I like them all like the same amount. Well, it's not Hattori because I don't know. I just, I can't kill him. He suffered so much already. He deserves a bit of happiness. You know what? I'm going to kill Kate because then she can be with Anthony in the afterlife. If there is one. I am a fake Kate fan. And I'll divorce Hawkeye and Hattori can survive. 
that was that was painful next time i'm like oh my god i love kate people are gonna be like do you remember when you chose to behead her yeah i remember that bitch next one miko from stolen air that's one of the brutal birthright books nobu also from nana and Harry Soto. Ooh, this is a this is an interesting one. These are all people that I would consider beheading in a situation. So like the fact they're all together terrifies me to think of all the beautiful characters I don't want to kill Liv. I'm gonna behead Carrie because Carrie is like not a good person. <laughs> like amazing to read about. Love the book. But she can also she can also die. <laughs> I'm gonna divorce. Miko, that means we were once married. And uh, thinking about being married to that man brings me a lot of pleasure. And then I will let Nobu survive. He's another character that's been through a rough, rough time. So he kind of deserves a bit of happiness. Let's see. The next one is Light Song again, because I love him. So any game that involves characters, he's there. BJ from Magnolia Park. So we know who's being beheaded. We have Vivian from City of Girls. I am going to behead BJ. Goodbye. Nobody will miss you. I'm going to let Vivian survive because I love her. And I will divorce Light Song. Next one is Daisy Jones. Danny Brown. Last one. Oh, bitch. No. Evelyn Hugo. Okay, no, I would kill. I would behead Daisy Jones. I'm sorry. I just don't like her as much as the others. She's awesome, but she can go. I will let Danny survive and I will divorce Evelyn Hugo. Ugh. Imagine the nerve saying, I will divorce Evelyn Hugo. Okay, we've got Adam from The Love Hypothesis. So basically Adam Driver, because that character is basically Adam Driver. So if I say behead this character, I'm basically saying I would behead Adam Driver. Then we have no Emmy from Mexican Gothic. And then we have, lastly, oh, Serapio. Yeah, Adam Driver can go. <laughs> then I will let Noemi survive and I will divorce Serapio. That is it. I'm now gonna go recycle this paper and hope in its second life it has a better purpose than for me to do this shit video. <laughs> so the last activity that I'm like participating in You'll see, it's very bad. Thursday's challenge for Phantom of the Opera, we want you to create something from a book. And I decided to do a picture based on the Greenbone Saga. I've done this beautiful portrait of Barrow. <laughs> He's got all of his like little bits of stolen jade made into jewelry. He's even got a jade cock ring because if anyone was gonna have a jade cock ring, it would be Barrow. I'm honoring this picture to Eliza because I know how much she loves Barrow and really wanted to see this drawing of him with a cock jade ring. So there you go. You're welcome, Eliza. That is going to do it for this terrible video. Um, let me know in the comments if you're unsubscribing. <laughs> and if you're choosing to stay, I'd absolutely love to know maybe what decisions you would have made in the behead. What was it? Behead? divorce, survive. Yeah, let me know if any of your decisions would have been different. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Don't worry, my next video will be serious. It won't be something stupid like this. But um, until then, I will see you next time. I was gonna pick Tilly up to say goodbye to you, but then she just ran off, cause she's rude. Let me use you for my channel. Oh my God, I'm sorry, Tilly, I don't mean it. <laughs> okay, bye.